the dresser debacle continues. <laughs> Um, so I have an issue with an order that I received last week and I was hoping that I could get some guidance or assistance with it. Do you need my order number? And are we calling about the double dresser? Yes. Okay, and what seems to be the issue today? Um, so I received the dresser on either Tuesday or Wednesday. I put the whole dresser together and it is broken. The bottom two drawers do not fit in the dresser. I've spent literally the last five days trying to make it fit because I do like the way the dresser looks, but it is broken. At this point, the majority of the dressers put together, just like the bottom two drawers don't fit and the top two drawers are crooked and I've spent so much time trying to fix it, but I literally cannot fix it and the piece of furniture is broken. I guess like I'm just curious as to what my options are here and what the next steps are. And the dresser debacle continues. <laughs> I am over the dresser debacle. This is so ridiculous. They, I called Wayfair to try to get a refund or see what we can do about the dresser and they sent me over to like the manufacturing number for the dresser and essentially they're gonna try to like send me a new back for this dresser which doesn't make sense because the dresser doesn't even have a back. It's a piece of cardboard and she was like that should help align the dresser or something of that sort and I'm like I don't know how a piece of cardboard is going to help align the dresser, but if you want to ship it to me for free, that's fine. So they're going to ship it and it's supposed to get here in two to four days to see if like, that should fix the issue with the drawers. The drawers are still haunting me over in that corner and they still don't fit at the bottom of the dresser. Honestly, I would have been just fine with a refund at this point because the dresser is broken and there's no way I can get this downstairs by myself and I would just end up junking it at the end of my lease and just use the four drawers that work. So... We'll see what happens. I'm going to humor the back of the dresser situation and then we're going to go from there. But I just, you know, dressers and I don't get along. Clearly. Very clearly. Don't think I ever introduced this video yet. So what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Hannah. If you're not new, welcome back. Starting a productive, like getting my life together type vlog. It is Monday morning and you guys know that this is typically the day where I spend the day like cleaning, working getting my life together, figuring out school stuff, switching my sheets over, so on and so forth. So I figured I'd bring you guys along with me for that. I made a little to-do list today that consists of, let's see, cleaning out my freezer, changing my sheets, washing my clothes, calling Wayfair for a refund, which I just tried to do when they told me they're gonna try to send me a new part or something of that sort. I want a vacuum, I want a mop potentially, and I need to do some school stuff. So we have a lot on the agenda today, but I just wanted to say welcome back and actually intro this vlog. If you guys are new around here and you're not subscribed, you should subscribe down below. I live in New York City, so I make a lot of New York City content. I am 24. I currently work in the IT media field. So that's just a little bit about me, but welcome back. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. 
took off the old sheets and put on these new sheets. It's a little bit of a different cover, duvet cover and sheet and pillows than the white ones that I had on. I have two different sets from Brooklyn and this is the linen set, I think. I'll have them linked down below, but I just switch back and forth between the two of them every week and a half, two weeks, just so I have clean sheets. It's really hard not having a washing machine, so having two sets of sheets and duvet covers and pillow covers has been really, really nice because I don't feel as gross when I have new sheets on, and I definitely wanted to put new sheets on today, so you can check this off of the to-do list. It's Monday, and I want to get back on track with my health and stuff. I feel like I ate out a lot this weekend. I ate out Friday night. Did I eat out Friday night? Okay, no, I didn't eat out Friday night, but I ate out Saturday night, Sunday morning, and then kind of had like a throw together last minute meal last night. So I like really wanna try to get back on track, although I didn't buy like a bunch of groceries this week. Normally I do like a massive grocery haul on Mondays because that's how I just like to start my week. I kind of pre-plan a bunch of meals that I wanna make for the week on Sunday. So like yesterday I would've gone on Pinterest and figured out everything, but I am headed home on Sunday for a week for Thanksgiving. And so I didn't wanna buy a bunch of groceries that just sit in my fridge because occasionally when I do a big grocery haul like that, some of the groceries will be like left over and will sit in the fridge, but they'll go bad if I do that. So I'm just gonna try to use what I have left. I also bought a bunch of frozen food from Trader Joe's yesterday, which is not the healthiest for you, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. But I'm gonna try to intentionally eat well or eat good this week. Like, I don't know. I just need to put like better things into my body, but we're gonna start with a little ginger shot from Trader Joe's. These are the ones that don't make me want to cry. The ones from Whole Foods make me want to cry. So, cheers. Doesn't make me want to cry, but it's still very spicy. Oh, okay. That felt good though. Sometimes a little burn in the throat from a ginger shot just Feels good, feels good. So I put dishes away this morning already. I've been loading the dishwasher as I go periodically throughout the day. I just did my sheets, I need to take a shower. I went to PT this morning and we're getting back into running. So I've been like running on the treadmill at PT which has made me like very gross and sweaty. So I do actually need to take a shower when I get home now. Sometimes I would just like sit in my PT clothes all day and then take a shower at night which I know is kind of gross but I wasn't really getting super, super sweaty before, but now that we're getting into more like endurance cardio stuff, I have literally been doing a full workout at PT. So I need to change. I'm just wearing this Lululemon set. These are aligned leggings, which I know you're not supposed to run in, but I need to do laundry, which is on today's to-do list. And then this top is from Athleta. I swear by this top, I own two of them. And honestly need to invest in more because they are my favorite workout tops ever. If you guys have like a bigger chest like I do, they really suck you in and make it so that running and endurance and high intensity workout stuff is comfortable and not like painful or you don't feel like weird doing it in front of other people, if that makes any sense. If you have a bigger chest, you know what I mean. So really swear by these tops. I'll have both linked down below. You guys, I'm sure know what aligned leggings are, but if you don't, they are like the buttery, soft leggings from Lululemon that you're not supposed to do high intensity workouts in like I just did. You're supposed to do like yoga or like lounge wear in them. But I made noobs today and I wore them. And I will also have this link down below. I'm so sad because I just bought this candle from Anthropology. It's their really popular volcano candle. And I've been burning it so much that it's literally almost out. I think I have like one or two more lights left in it i just leave it lit all day which is why it burns so fast so i know it's my own fault but i'm gonna be sad when it runs out i also don't have any more candles so i need to go candle shopping soon i just got out of the shower i need to shut my bedroom door because the screaming children are out and about today but i just took a shower and i'm feeling so much cleaner i was feeling really really gross before and i put on some Sweatshorts, slippers, and we have a white shirt on. I'm getting ready to vacuum my floor because it just like looks really, really gross right now. 
and I just want a clean start to the week, so I'm getting ready to do that. I don't know if I shared this on the vlogs, but I bought a new vacuum, and I am literally obsessed with it. It's not the docking one, the Dyson docking one, where it's like cordless. It's one that has a cord, unfortunately, but I feel like it's such a good dupe for the Dyson. It's a Bissell, which I know is another really popular brand. This one in particular is specifically made for pet hair, so if I ever get a dog or an animal in the future, it'll be good for that, but I needed one that would pick up a lot of dirt on my floor. I don't know what it is with this carpet, this floor, this apartment in general. I think it's just small, so it attracts a lot of dirt. The vacuum that I had before was just not powerful enough to suck everything up, so this apartment got really dirty really fast. So I went ahead and invested in this one. I got it off of Amazon. It definitely wasn't the cheapest option, but like I said, I have put it to good use and it works so well. So I'm gonna have a link down below if you guys maybe need like a Christmas gift for your significant other or parents or you just need to invest in a new vacuum, I would highly recommend this one. Definitely nowhere near the Dyson price, which is what I appreciate because the Dyson is so expensive. Almost unnecessarily expensive, I feel like. This one does just as good a job as the Dyson in my opinion and it's like a quarter of the price, so I'm gonna have it linked down below. I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head Quick high. side note before I go into the bedroom with the screaming children I, Another thing I like about this vacuum, which if it'll focus you guys can see it There are two different settings when you use the vacuum One's hardwood and one is area rug so for the areas that I do have carpet, I can switch it onto carpet. And for the areas that I'm just doing hardwood, I can switch it on the hardwood. The difference is like the way that it sucks up the dirt. I think that when it's on the carpet, it like uses the bristles. But if it's on just hardwood, I think it just sucks up stuff because you wouldn't need the bristles. So it has like two different settings, which I like. And I find it super, super useful. And I feel like it just ends up sucking up stuff that I would have completely missed with any other vacuum. So... That's just like another feature that I really like. I figured I'd mention that since I didn't mention it before. Just think it's like kind of unique. It is a lot later to the point where it's literally almost dark outside, as you can tell by the lighting in my apartment. But I got caught up in some work stuff, so I've been doing that for the last couple of hours. And I now finally have time to run stuff to the laundromat, so I'm getting ready to do that. I separated everything. This is like this bag is full of clothes that need to be washed and dried. This bag is full of stuff that just needs to be washed and then hung up. So I think I'm going to do this in two separate days. I think I'm going to go ahead and wash the top stuff since I can literally just leave it in the washing machine for 20 minutes. The washing machine locks and then I can go back down in 20 minutes and pick it up. And then this I'll do tomorrow morning potentially because I have to run some errands tomorrow anyways. And I actually have to sit there while this dries so that people don't steal my stuff out of the dryer because the dryer doesn't lock. So I think that's the plan for now, but I've been really running low on workout gear now that I've been doing PT twice a week and wearing it daily and it's cold outside so I'm like reusing my leggings and I really need to invest in some more like Lululemon leggings or like workout sets. So if you guys have any workout set recommendations, link them down below. Preferably ones that are warm since I live in New York and it is going to get really, really cold outside soon. But I've been looking into like set active and all those really cute sets. I want sets that are matching just because I think they're easier to grab from the drawer than trying to pair things together. But I have noticed that I do run low on leggings really fast and then I'm doing like more and more laundry. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave them down below. Or even like cheaper ones from Amazon. I'm always up for a good like Amazon dupe as long as it like holds up and I can run in it and stuff like that. It's getting dark outside, so the lighting is going to get a little bit harsher in this video just because we have to use the overhead lights, which is not my favorite thing to do, but we don't really have an option. So I just ran this up to the laundromat, and I have about 20 minutes before I have to go pick it up. I am fine with leaving it in the actual washing machine when I'm not there because, like I said previously, the washing machine locks. It's just the dryer that doesn't lock. So if things are going to get stolen, they're going to probably get stolen out of the dryer unless I, like, leave my stuff in the washing machine when it unlocks, which I try to set my timer so that I time it perfectly so that I show up within like the last minute or two. While it's doing that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and clean out my freezer. I don't know if this happens to anyone else, but 
my freezer gets so jam-packed with so many random things over the last couple of months because I'll like panic throw things in the freezer and I don't even know what I have in here or like what needs to be thrown out because I feel like a lot of things need to be thrown out. So I'm going to do a quick freezer cleanse also to see what I have to eat for the week because like I said previously I'm not buying a lot of fresh food just because I am leaving Sunday. So I did a lot of like frozen fruits from Trader Joe's but my freezer is getting really jam-packed again with stuff meaning there's probably stuff in here that shouldn't be in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick freezer clean out. Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down yeah. The sky is falling down I went MIA there for a second because my camera died and then my backup battery was dead so I literally had no battery in my camera but yeah anyways <laughs> I did laundry I cooked dinner and I'm currently watching the latest episode of Station 19. I'm getting ready to pour myself a little kombucha to end the night as a little well-deserved treat. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and end my night there. I feel like it's been such a productive day, which is really nice. I actually got a lot done that I wanted to get done. And I feel like my apartment is semi-clean. The only thing I didn't do was mop the floors like I wanted to, but I just wasn't in the mood to like get the mop out and attach the pads and like do the whole thing. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow. This is about to overflow. But tonight I'm gonna finish watching Station 19. And then I'm gonna try to finish the book that I've been reading for the past three weeks because I'm not a big fan of it, but I'm like committed to it. So I wanna try to finish it. So anyways, yeah, that's my plan for the rest of the night. Just gonna drink this, watch some TV, then read in this chair over there and hopefully go to bed early because I didn't get a good night's sleep last night and I know I need a good night's sleep. So I'm gonna attempt to do that. I don't know how well it's gonna work, but we shall see. So I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. If you enjoyed it, you should stick around, subscribe down below, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Even if the sky is falling down